This is something I have observed in my own life, in my years on this planet, in the United States. That in general, black people are more patient than the rest of us. I remember years ago when I was in college, I remember being at a store and there were several aisles that, that for cashiers to, you know, to go to. And someone said to me, if there's someone who's black that's a cashier, always go to them because they are the most helpful and patient while you're in line. They're, the, they're the, always the best line. So sure enough, I started doing that. And I always had a, a pleasant experience when the, the person ringing up all my items was black. So that, was, that stuck a man from college. And then, not that long ago, as, as if this were some kind of thing that I'm creating, I'm making up some kind of stereotype of generalization, a few weeks ago, on Saturday Night Live, on Saturday Night Live, they had a skit where they were talking about going into a bank and they had like the token white girl and then they had a, a black lady. And what you saw was, then the whole joke was the black lady she was she would wait all day if she had to to get her to get her loan while the white lady got upset when she had to wait five minutes for some paperwork to come through and that's when i realized okay there is something to that and then also recently since at work people that i i deal with in, in my job i deal with a lot of paperwork a lot of a process and i have noticed that anytime the person is, is a black american they are very patient and very understanding to wait for the pro paperwork to clear White people typically are going to be the first ones to bail the moment they have to wait a few days for some paperwork to clear. So I make this video to point out a very positive trait that you, I have generally observed in black Americans. This is a positive thing I'm talking about. And it's easy to say, well, is, can you say that right now? Well, is what I'm saying wrong? Even if it is a generalization, it is a positive one. It's one I can appreciate. And is it coincidence? No, not at all. I'm very aware of all the struggles that African Americans, black people here in America, have had to do with. I'm very observant. I'm aware of it. And I hate that. I hate the fact of even how 40 years ago, how racist things were for, for black people to try to buy a home. That in itself was still stacked against them to where they ended up in certain neighborhoods and couldn't get into certain schools. So there was still that systemized racism going on there. So I'm aware of such things. I have seen, I've observed, I've been taught how black Americans have been excluded throughout American history. And therefore, I can't help but make the connection. Of course they're patient. And of course, by default, white people are not as patient. It only makes sense. And here's also what it makes me think of, and I've made videos about this before, but uh, I've talked about how Jewish people are known for being innovative and making money and good at saving money, investing money, being behind these big companies. Is that a coincidence? Is it that just Jewish people are just magically good at making money? No, of course not. And my final paper in college was about this, was about how Throughout history, Jewish people have been kicked out. And wherever their home was, they got kicked out to the next country. The next, They had to be innovative to find ways to run a business in a way that even if they uh, did not belong in that culture, that they could still be self-sustainable. And therefore, culturally, that's been passed down typically through Jewish culture in the same way that I feel that that's been passed through black culture. To be, to be patient, and if you do so, you may actually end up being better off than those who are not as patient as you. So I, I think I, I see nothing wrong or racist about what I'm saying. I think it's completely positive. Now, here's going to be the true test of, of this, the comment section. Now, something I have observed is when I have talked before about what I just said about Jewish people, who gets upset about it? People who aren't Jewish, they'll leave all these comments. Meanwhile, Jewish people will say, yep, you're totally right. The true test will be to see the comment section to see if I'm right. If black people are agreeing with me, then of course, based on how black people have been treated in American history, it makes sense that by default, most black, the average black person is going to be more patient to wait through some kind of arbitrary process than a white person. Now, 
what I predict is white people are going to get upset with me and leave angry comments. And I'm going to predict that black people are going to say, he makes some very good points. I totally get what he's saying. I can relate. That's what I'm going to predict. Because typically when I talk about positive stereotypes about a certain race or ethnicity, the people who get offended are the people who aren't actually part of that group. While the people who are agree with me. I think that's what happens when you talk positively about a race, a certain trait. That's what happens. Let's find out in the comment section right about now, right about here.